I've always loved to read and I'm like a magazine junkie. So one night when I was in between jobs, I was outside of a party and saw the editor-in-chief of my very favorite magazine at the time, Honey Magazine, coming out of the event. So me being the impulsive kind of nutty individual that I can be, I chased after her literally, like I ran her down as she was trying to catch a cab in New York. I ran up on her and I was like, hi, I'm Mitzi and I'm gonna be a star. So you probably want to let me come work for you now, as opposed to, you know, like with Oprah, where I'll blow up and I won't be able to even say I know you. And clearly I sound like a maniac, but I made her laugh. So she gave me her card, told me to call HR the next day, and I did. And I haven't looked back since. I landed an internship and that was all she wrote. So I think my favorite story of all time it was Mitzi Lives as a Privileged White Woman for a week. I wrote that while I was at Jane Magazine. And for seven days, I was absolutely out here doing nothing but nonsense. I was getting into elevators and just not pushing it because, my God, I can't. Somebody's going to push the <laughs> Stopping at doors, waiting for people to open it, going to a restaurant, asking them to change the temperature of the entire restaurant because, well, I mean, I'm hot and I'm all that matters. And I had so much fun. They sent me down to, oh, I'm trying to, it was like some small cottagey, extra rich, fabulous community of all older people in Florida and just doing nonsense. And that was so much fun. Like the experience, meeting different people, behaving badly, but then afterwards being like, no, 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 really, I'm sorry. I don't really act like this. I'm actually just, you know, doing it for a story and writing it up. It was, it was good times. The most important thing is honing your voice. The way to stand out is to having a very unique voice. That's what people buy into. How will I know what you have to say versus what she has to say versus what the next person down the street has to say? You have to be able to identify your audience and engage them and keep them engaged. It's about honing your own voice and making sure that no matter where you go, you have to assimilate in some sort of way, but you always stand out and you're always recognizable.